YouTube what's going on I'm enjoying this beautiful free hand pipe that belonged to my father it is a Nordig and inside I am smoking a local blend from my tobacco merchant called Nutty Java got a very nice taste to it no bite at all very aromatic I love the smell of this one this is a great pipe my dad used to smoke this pipe when I was young and it just fits in your hand perfect I need to do a little bit of work on the stem you know polishing it up but uh, I wanted to get out and shoot some arrows today out of my new bow but it's it's raining I mean, yeah, I guess I still could, but it's just not as enjoyable in the rain. So I'm just sitting out, chilling on the porch, listening to the rain hit the, the tin roof on the goat shed behind me. All the critters are tucked away somewhere, keeping out of the rain. I've been thinking about doing a 2019 reflection video. I've noticed a, uh, a lot of YouTubers are doing that. Kind of a recap of some of their best moments of 2019. <laughs> And uh tell you what, this is this is called nutty java and it really does have a nutty taste. It is handy having a tamper built into your lighter. It also has a scoop and a pick built into the lighter. And the direction the flame goes right onto the pipe. So none of that holding it upside down and burning your thumb while you light your pipe stuff. Got this at Walmart for like 15 bucks. It's a Ronson. It's refillable. Should last forever. You know how I am. Usually I like to have a damn big lighter. But in my pipe kit, now I'm keeping a damn Ronson lighter. Somebody asked me why I always say damn in front of big lighter. And it all goes back to a video that I did five to seven years ago. As a matter of fact, I think it's still on my channel. I don't think I deleted that one. If you scroll all, scroll all the way to the bottom of my videos, back five to seven years, there's a video called Fire Preparedness, where I talked about the importance of having a Bic lighter. But I said, it's important to have a damn Bic lighter. And for some reason, ever since then, damn Bic lighter has stuck. I never have to ask anybody if they have a light because I always have one. That's kind of what people can always count on with me. I'm always going to have a light and I'm always going to have a knife. Right now, I've got on my side a little Gerber knife. I featured this in my last video called a Foxo Knives. I dug it out started carrying it the last few days and uh, so I always have a knife and then always in my boot I have this uh, Smith & Wesson HRT boot knife and uh, it stays securely in there 
I can't even feel it. <clears throat> and of course, nobody knows I have it. Unless I went through a metal detector, I guess. I'm really enjoying this tobacco. I know a lot of people spend a lot of money on the name brand tobaccos and everything, and I'm sure they're very good. The thing I like about having a brick and mortar local tobacco merchant store, I can go to this store and I can open up the canisters and I can get a sense of the aroma. And uh, they do a very good job of putting what the blend is, you know, Virginia's, Latica, all that stuff. Even though I don't know what all that stuff means, I like being able to go in and kind of explain what type of tobacco I'm looking for and have a real live person that knows that actually blended this stuff that can help me out. And uh, that's exactly what I did with this Nutty Java. I went in uh, the other day, well it was yesterday, day after Christmas. And I said, I'm looking for a very aromatic tobacco. And I want something that doesn't have a lot of bite. That's easy to smoke and pleasant. But it has a nice aroma for those around me. And the first one he went to was the Nutty Java. And it was a great recommendation. And, but anyway, I'm sitting here on the back porch listening to the rain, enjoying this nutty java in this beautiful free hand. It's just relaxing. My wife took down the Christmas decorations yesterday, so now it's my job to fold up and box up the tree and the Santa and the reindeer and the lights and then carry all of that stuff from the house to the shed. But, it's raining, so hey, I can't do it, right? Sorry, babe. By the way, I did get my computer back. Yay. The day before Christmas. Uh, the hard drive crashed, so I lost everything. I lost all my graphics, all my pictures, all my video clips. If you guys are still with me on this video, let me know what video editing programs do you use and uh, do you like them? Are they user friendly? And hey, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do make sure you hit that subscribe button. Be sure to click the bell so you can be notified when I make a new video. If you're already subscribed, make sure you like and share. Anyway, I'm going to chill out a little bit longer, but I don't want to bore you. So, uh, till next time, keep calm, carry on, keep puffing, and keep it outdoors.